It's been a while since I uploaded a dedicated monitor review video, but oh man, did I wait for one that was worthy. This here is the brand new Gigabyte G24F, which launched just a couple of months ago, and it's what I think is the new best gaming monitor under $200. Let's have a look. Today's video is sponsored by ICMMO.com, which is kindly hooking you guys up with not just an activated version of Windows 10 and removing that nasty watermark, but they're also giving you guys an exclusive AF 35% discount code if you use ZAH35. Buying keys are super simple. Just head on down to the links in the description. Once you add that Windows 10 key to your cart, make sure you use the discount code ZAH35 and that'll drop the price down to less than 10 bucks. There's a ton of different ways to pay, including PayPal. And after buying, you'll be able to extract your key. From there, simply press the start button on your desktop, type in activation, paste in your key, and boom, Windows 10 is now activated and you're good to go. Head on down to the links in the description and big thanks again to icmmo.com for sponsoring today's video. So just as some quick disclaimers before jumping straight into those specs, the first one is that absolutely everything that I talk about today, including that monitor, is indeed linked down in the description. I actually haven't talked about this for a while, but all of those links down in the description of my videos are actually affiliate links, meaning that I get a small kickback at no extra charge to you. This is actually a huge way to support the channel, so thank you in advance to anybody that's about to use those links. The other disclaimer is that I actually built this entire gaming PC that you're seeing now purely to test out this monitor. Yes, it's definitely a very terrible excuse to build another high-end system, but since you guys are all about buying the PCs that I post on the new ZaxTechTrip.com website, I realized that I gotta keep building them because they keep selling out. We'll talk about this build after reviewing the monitor. All right, so first up, we gotta talk about the specs just so we know what we're working with, and whatever you do, please don't leave this video after I tell you that it's just a 1080p monitor. Seriously, please don't go anywhere. It's also 24 inch, 164 hertz with an optional overclock to 170 hertz. It's got a one millisecond response time. It's also IPS, FreeSync Premium, and on the back, it's VESA compatible. For ports at the bottom, it's rocking one DisplayPort 1.2, two HDMI 2.0s, a headphone jack, USB-B for connecting it to your PC so you don't have to use the on-screen display, and finally, there's two USB 3.0 ports as well. Moving on to the aesthetics and build quality, I'm actually a huge fan of this clean AF design, especially with that aggressive, futuristic, gamery looking stand. There's also the minimal bezels around the side, and everything is just simple in black, which is basically my definition of clean AF. Gigabyte's own branding calls it simple but stylish, and that's actually spot on in my opinion. Going back to that stand, it does have some of the adjustments, but not the full range. You can tilt it depending on how high you sit at your desk, and also completely move it up and down for some height adjustment. There's no pivot or swivel adjustment, but honestly, that's not really needed for a lot of people. When moving and adjusting the stand, it also feels super sturdy because of that bigger base. It just feels like a higher quality monitor instead of those cheap and flimsy ones that shake when you just breathe in front of it. But now it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of this review, aka how well does this monitor perform when gaming? And oh my goodness, the reason why I didn't want you to click off this video is because I honestly had no idea that 1080p monitors could look this good. Over the past couple of years, I've been pretty much only reviewing those ultra budget 1080p higher refresh rate monitors so that I can fit them into the tight budgets for my setup guide videos. And I don't know if the technology is still improving or I'm just not used to a high quality IPS display, but man, the colors on this monitor just look so good, even with the standard profile right out of the box. I actually had Sam, AKA ZTT employee numero quattro come help me with this review. First, I just wanted to get his opinion on the viewing angles. And not only did both of us think that the viewing angles were fantastic, but he also said that he's never been this impressed by monitors colors before. It's honestly pretty crazy, and I know I'm sounding like a salesman, but I don't really care. The colors when watching some high quality footage like this just look so clean and crispy. They're super vibrant, the details are sharp, and absolutely nothing changes when you change your viewing angle, which is crazy. For gaming, I quickly tested it with two different games on opposite ends of my fake and super unofficial lighting spectrum. First up was the bright and vibrant Valorant, which doesn't have the best visuals, obviously, but it's a really popular game. I also tested it with the brand new Diablo 2 Resurrection, which is a game that I've been super excited about for a while now. And even though this game is very dark and gritty, you can still see all the little details in the dark from the game and it just looks really nice. Playing both of these games, despite not being super demanding and they're only in 1080p, was a very eye-opening experience. 
Honestly, just those two games alone with this monitor really changed my perspective on 1080p gaming here in 2021. One thing to note here is that 1440p higher refresh rate monitors are really starting to creep down to the low 200s here recently. Some of these aren't going to be the best quality panels, but still dropping close to $200 on a 1080p monitor is rightfully questionable. But in my opinion, this is definitely worth the quality if you're okay with sticking at that slightly outdated resolution. Also, just a couple other things to note real quickly. I didn't notice any ghosting at all when running that online test that I think every reviewer does. Keep in mind, I am by no means an official monitor reviewer, and I'm just your slightly above average gamer. There was also some noticeable backlight bleed in the top left and right hand corners, and just a bit at the bottom, but honestly, that has never bothered someone like me. And finally, there was one slightly big issue that I noticed the reviews were saying before I tested it myself, and my unit definitely had the same issue. There's actually some very noticeable coil wind inside this monitor once you go above 100 hertz. If you're at 100 and then go to 120, 20, you can instantly hear it. Now you're definitely not gonna hear it if you have headphones on or whatnot, but if you're sitting right in front of the monitor, it's actually pretty annoying. I wouldn't classify this as a super loud and obnoxious coil whine like we've seen with some GPUs before, but it's still a very high pitched and you can hear it even when you're not paying attention and nitpicking. I'm very confident that some monitor connoisseurs are going to hate this, but even Sam said it wouldn't bother him, but he's a pretty laid back dude. It annoys me personally, but as long as you're usually rocking headphones, you should be perfectly fine. Overall though, like I said, both Sam and I were super impressed with this $190 1080p 165 Hertz monitor. And although those three points don't sound that great together, this is a seriously high quality panel and it made 1080p gaming much more fun than I anticipated. Also what made that gaming fun was the gaming PC that I specifically built for testing. And in this video, I wanna quickly talk about it and let me know down in the comments section if you're a baller and are gonna stay through my monitor review video to watch a completely separate part about this high-end gaming PC. You guys are the true MVPs, by the way, increasing that YouTube watch time. First up, everything is inside this Antec NX410 and boy, is this a beautiful, option for a white and black gaming PC like this one. I really like the aesthetic of the tempered glass panel with that thicker than normal black trim and larger than normal white handle. That PSU basement is also super clean and I think it's neat how that smooth white design wraps around to the front of the build with some continuation action. In terms of RGB, the case came with three pre-installed white RGB fans and although they are powered by that nasty Molex, I think the RGB options on them are perfectly fine. This case does have support for up to six fans and a good amount of different radiator options and honestly, I would definitely recommend an AIO in this case because there's a ton of room for one up at the top here. And when you don't use one, it kind of looks a little empty up there as you can see. The black version of this case comes in at $65, the white one at $70, and shout out to Antec for hooking us up with this. Moving on to the performance, this build is rocking a Ryzen 5 5600X and 16 gigabytes of this absolutely beautiful Patriot Viper 4133 megahertz kit. This RAM kit is not only super fast, which is perfect for Ryzen and honestly a little overkill, but aesthetically, it may be my all time favorite white sticks of RAM on the market right now. The side profile just looks super clean and I love how the RGBs look from the top view. There's also an XFX Speedster RX 6600 XT in here, which I picked up on a random Newegg combo. These 6600 XTs are really easy to buy right now, at least here in the States on Newegg, and I've been snagging several of these when I see them go up for sale. And finally, here's the rest of the parts list for this build. And because that 6600 XT is indeed marketed as a 1080p graphics card, I thought this turned out to be a very good choice for our 1080p monitor testing, but yeah, it's probably a bit overkill to be honest. Well, that's gonna wrap up my review of the Gigabyte G24F. Dude, I've been saying this outro so many times. Thank you for watching my review of the Gigabyte G24F and a quick look at that gaming PC. Feel free to click the video that's on the screen now. That's a setup guide that has other monitors for you to choose from. But just like always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so glad that that outro is done. That was bad.